Hello, I'm Tom Pearson here from videogamer.com and I'm here with Martin Gaston. Hello. And Tom Ori. Hello. And today we're looking at our ninth game of the year, Bad Company 2. It's good. What do we think? Love it. Love it. Okay, done. <laughs> done. <laughs> Come no, back right. tomorrow no. for number eight. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I love this game. I put this as probably one of my favorites. This is in my top one or two, like my yeah. personal top one or two. Um, absolutely brilliant when it came out. I love it. I've not touched the single player and probably It's never funny. Will. It's it's one of the only games that has a single player and people just go, I don't want to play a single I player. I played it. I finished I it. I did play a bit of the single player, actually, and I thought people give it you know, a, a bad time because the multiplayer is so good. Something's mm. got a fault somewhere. And and it really doesn't like like personally. I thought a single player I was okay. I thought it was quite good. I yeah. thought it was a, well, I thought it was alright. There's nothing. It's not a case that. of fault. It's a case of when the multiplayer is this good. So I just said. But like, why bother? And like, not not bother making it, but why bother playing it? Like when it's on the same menu. <laughs> yeah. Like, I've never. I've because there are times when I've sat down and gone. Do you know what? I'm going to play the single player to this because I've heard it's pretty easy achievements. Yeah. And I could bash it out over the weekend. But the and then someone is, will right? go, oh, you're playing Battlefield online. Can I play Battlefield with you as well? I'm like, all right, go on then. We'll do some online. Suddenly the weekend's gone. No time for single player. Mm. Yeah. See, that's the thing. That's a good question, actually. Like, Call of Duty, you'll, you'll go and play the single player as a break from the multiplayer, maybe. I don't know, because it's so intriguing and it has lots of set pieces. Whereas... You know, this does does that mean that this has a better multiplayer experience? It has because a you don't one. want to play the single player, or is it because the single player is lacking somewhere? It has a better social multiplayer experience, I think. When I've got a group together, when there's a few people online, you can't fault bad company. Yeah, too. very true. When I mean, I'm on my own, Call of Duty or Halo. That's very true, actually. Having a squad of four people is very fun. And it would certainly make your life here a lot easier mm. on defense like if you had a good medic uh, you'd you'd have an easier time of things like the medic in this game is the most overpowered class he is like, very OP like people won't say that whoever plays a medic will be like no I it's play not. a medic because I, I like. medic was probably my least favorite class I don't know why but uh, because you can heal and yeah. uh, you can resurrect people you get way 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 more points than anyone else but hear me out right faster. hear me out you're a medic and you're attacking and you revive the person who got killed you get their ticket back what do you mean well because it's a ticket based thing is it so if you're attacking as you can see down the bottom you see attacking it's, yeah, it's a yeah, number yeah. every time someone dies oh right goes yeah down. of course you get it you get it back now if you revive those people that you don't lose that ticket mm. so if you're a good medic you're in fact you're keeping your team alive and you're keeping your team in the game for longer yeah i you see know, what you mean the beauty of it is, is that all the classes like, admittedly, I chose Medic because you get to rinse it for XP. <laughs> Silent Fierce, but... The thing about that, though, is that you only level the class. You don't level everything. Like, in Call of Duty, you'll, as you level, you'll be you'll level yourself and you'll level all areas and you'll get to buy stuff. But, but you do have your general level. Well, I'm just saying, like, in this, for example, you'll only level your Medic and all your other classes. If needs right. be, if you need an engineer and you go, no one's an engineer and need, someone an engineer. needs an engineer then uh, you know, you're not going to have... Engineers the, are very exciting. I see engineers as sort of brave, slightly fearless, potentially foolish people <laughs> who are quite happy to duke it out with a tank. Yeah. And happy. I love doing that, but those people are stupid because tanks are very aggressive and it's very powerful. So fun. They're the best class. But what you need is a good medic to bring you back from when you've stupidly tried to take out a tank single handedly and got shot. The, the the scariest thing I'll have like is is when you're dead and you're just relaxing at this menu and then you go, "Whoa, you're back in the game. What is going on?" And then you yeah. like panic and then you die again. You're like, "Oh, thank god. Thank god I'm dead." That's being and then arrived. you get you get rezzed again. You're like, "What was going on?" <laughs> But, um, and you will. Anyone will the, the genius is on the medic side is that in all like in so many games before this, being a medic has rewarded you with less XP than a kill. Yeah. But in this game, if you're actually if you revive someone in your squad, you get more XP than you would by killing someone. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. So obviously, if you're looking for XP, and most people are, and you're playing a medic, it is it's a better idea to be a medic than it is to just attack and yeah. games in the past a lot of online games have, have forgotten to like really promote that teamwork which is what bad company 2 yeah does so well what's your uh, favorite class tom you played this I, right? I play the class that dies a lot <laughs> 
You know, did you? This you, game was hard to get a feel on properly because when we reviewed it, we had like review sessions and stuff, like online sessions, and it wasn't really the best way to experience the game. I think you right. had to play it after to get a real sense of how good it was. I mean, I wasn't around at the office mm. when when this was coming out, so I don't know what the hype was like. Was it quite a hyped game when it came Relatively, out? Relatively, yeah. I mean. Because it just kind of popped up on my ra radar randomly when friends started playing it. And then I played it and I just thought it was amazing. I, mm. No pre-hype for me at all. Like... Hmm. Yeah. I just enjoy Battlefield very much. I do enjoy Battlefield. I only play Rush, to be honest. I only really Rush is probably Rush. The, best, the best mode. It's Conquest quite I don't have time for. Do you know what I love about this game more than anything else? Is the fact that you can blow up anything. What? You can literally... Go right that wall. There's a wall. That's not a problem. I'll just blast through that. Destruction 2.0. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. It's I so love the noise that the bombs make when they're uh, going to explode. <laughs> they, they make a slightly higher pitched whine Sweet. near the end, and that means if someone's not already defusing it, it is too late for someone well, else to defuse it. That's what I'm talking about. That is amazing. Yeah. Have you, you, Tom? Did you play the uh, you played the console version? Yeah, I played the uh, I played the version that, that's uh, on the PC, and there's a lot more accuracy. And recon is a much much more viable class. Like the 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 detail of the sniping in this game is the best I've ever seen. Like well, other games, or like if you have your crosshair on a target and you shoot, you'll get that person because that's where the pixel is. That's where they are. Hit whereas scan. In, whereas this, yeah, exactly, hit scan. Whereas in this game, it takes into account distance, and so the the bullet will dip over time, and it's just the most satisfying feeling to aim above a moving target in the distance. And guess where they're going to be? Guess where the bullet's going to drop and hit them in the head? It's, it's very the, skillful. It's the best experience ever, but to do that on the console is, is pretty much impossible, Like unless you're a good player. I don't know, man. Like, like uh, some of my uh, some of my squad mates pick it up. I think you just need to learn. Over yeah, time, right? I think it's just easier on the PC as well. Sure, I can't do it. Right, I'm not going to lie. I hate snipers in general, and I'm always very derogatory to them in my writing because I'm, <laughs> I'm quite jealous of them. Knife him. Close. The, see, Tom, <laughs> this is the problem with trying to play multiplayer games here. That that's called lag. Hmm. And I, uh, that's good you getting shot that's good lag the bigger problem friend. I have is that I'm not very good that's my if problem if you play Tom if you play the uh, PC version you'll have a lot more success because mm. it's just so much easier like console gaming for in the review session for this harder. the first day we played two hours in the morning I killed two people <laughs> one per hour Wow. Well, somebody's got somebody. <laughs> people need people to shoot Tom, and you're that kind of person. Mm, I got assists. You got. That's all that matters. You're the so. You should. Will you play a medic? No. Well, you should have. Yeah. Because I mean, you're getting assists. Heal. Heal. I mean, it's easy points. I need ammo. Um. I need ammo. You're reconning it. I see. Yeah, I used to love recon, but on the console, I just can't do it. You've got a stigma. You're being unfair to the console. No, I am a little bit, but that's only because I have such fond memories of the PC version. And I'm I'm very much a WASD PC FPS a guy. A a Wazd. Wazd. Sorry, Are you going to uh, be playing Vietnam? Uh, yeah, I might do. I might pick it up. I'll see. Out very soon. Is that any good? Uh, I mean, you've had a quick look at it. I can't you? say. Oh, you can't. At the moment. Not to worry. But if you like Bad Company 2. It's more of the same, isn't it? To an extent, there's quite a lot of new things. That's what you're paying for, right? Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of new maps. There's five new maps. Mm. It's just, this is, again, this is EA's best use of uh, the VIP code as well. Like, one of the, well, one of the only good ones, I think, in that DICE have been updating it over the course <laughs> of the year with extra content for anyone who brought it new, yeah. rather than putting out premium DLC, which is where a lot of developers choose to focus. I mean, last two weeks ago, they put out two maps from Bad Company 1 for free for anyone who brought it new and had the VIP code, which is a nice bonus, and it's enough to get people back playing the game. I know I went back for a quick session. It was a couple of days before the Halo Reach Noble map pack came out, and then our attention was once again diverted back between both Halo. games. Yeah, and it's nice. I like, I like games that do that, and I think as we go forward, like as multiplayer becomes more and more prominent, like, and you see games like this, games like, and even Call of Duty to some extent, like you see games coming out and you see the people who are buying them couldn't give a monkeys 
about these single player campaigns so as like multiplayer becomes more and more of a focus for more and more people it's nice to see games that are just so well made and with such attention yeah. to every part of the experience what, why is it that people aren't dying when I shoot them you're, you're not hitting them, them. I'm, hit, I'm getting those little like, crosshair come up I'm definitely hitting them you are playing it on our office's famously laggy work yeah. connection oh, that's, that's the only thing I can blame it on which has caused me to see red <laughs> many a time yeah like if you don't want to hear a slightly fatty 24 year old man shouting unsavory words don't walk down our road in Croydon <laughs> when I'm supposed to be trialling a multiplayer game in the day. I, I assume that you could throw C4 in this and blow it up. That's you can you, eventually. You, yeah, they nerfed it. I mean, they... Well, and, as they should. It's really annoying. Well, back in the day when Beta came out, uh, people were sticking C4 to their quad bikes, driving them in, and then detonating them and getting it first time. Right, like there's it was, one thing I hate about that, this obviously. game. If there's one thing I don't like about this game. It's that you can blow up points by dropping airstrikes on them or using C4. I mean they've, they've pretty much made that really hard to do though they've but made that very hard the fact that you can do it I don't like all points should must should be done by the countdown it's, timer no I think it's a good thing because the, the point is that there's some sort of that's almost works like a time limit like you don't want to be stuck grinding one point for an, like twenty minutes. No, it's, just blow it up normally. It's not fine. You mean you're defending and you've been doing a really good job. They got six tickets left. They're like, oh, we're going to win this, and then the game goes, oh, your point's been destroyed. We're like, how? Like, oh, because they put one too many C4 charges. Yeah. Like, no, <laughs> one too timer. Many. All multiplayer shooters with bombs have used timers for years, and they shouldn't change it. It's annoying. Other than that, good game. Would would play I love again. the? I do like the vehicles as well. I think they are. Uh, it's the best vehicles in any game. Yeah, but I mean, when you when you're in a sitting in a tank and you're like this, you attack a building, you really feel that damage. True, I've got a mate that always pilots the UAV. Oh, I love that guy. And there's anything else, and he's always in your squad. You're like, oh, we'll respawn on Dave, and you're like, no, <laughs> the Dave's best thing back, is to Dave's get back a, miles uh, on the UAV. You get a helicopter, and you all sit in it. You get one engineer in the side door, and then he just holds the button down, and you're you're constantly regening your helicopter. And then the other guys are shooting and you're flying about, you're tearing up a storm. It's good if you've got both of the choppers as well. God, really fun. Should have knifed him. Mm. Is that a knife? Well, I tried to knife before, but yeah. lag. As long as you've got to. Permit me to so I also love that when you, when you knife kill someone, you get their tags in your personal collection. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? And it tells you the amount of times you've done it. And yeah. if you've got a sort of a rivalry thing going on, level one. Whee! Level one person. You didn't play this very much, Tom, did you? <laughs> level one. That's not my account. Well, it's, it's, it's the, I guess it's the office account. I it's got your it name on the debug. Level one. You've oh, reached I level guess. one person. The world is your oyster. Woo! That's right. That's probably why you're doing so badly as well, because you've got none of the cool stuff you unlock over got no time. no decent weapons, nothing. Playing uh, in harsh circumstances. What's got the better knife, this or Black Ops? The better knife? Mm. No, me, and, me and mine have been going through knife actions all day. Yes. Um, Black Ops knife is certainly easy to use. Black Ops is quicker. Like, you'll do one quick motion from bottom right to top left. Whereas this is a stab. But then this is more humiliating. When you knife someone in this, is more humiliating. And as yeah. the knife is a humiliation weapon, you know. You see what I did there? Tactical seat change. Mm, I liked while it. Still, while I was still I liked driving. it. You're going to get this point. Hells yeah, I You're am. You're going to show us you're blowing Whoa. up a point. Go on, just trigger it. You can do, do it. Do, 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 do. I'm in the bomb. Yeah, nice. and it's armed. So Hopefully I get to tell you, show you the noise first hand. No, I think I might have died. Because <laughs> the guy on my team just kept shooting at me. Look, he keeps firing his tank missiles at me. That's not cool, man. That's what I'm saying. It's That's important cool. to be in a squad of people you know. Because you get idiots like that. Because then you have some real tight... Look, he's still tactics. shooting me. One idiot. Is that your guy? He's probably trying to shoot. And then I got hit by a sniper. That's or a medic. See that little whine? That whine means Whee! that it's too late. Boom. If you're not defusing it when that whine starts... I would have loved it even more if the actual thing blew up everyone in the vicinity. I like, know. It didn't just blow up itself. Like, when you're next to it, it blows up in front of you. But if it actually kabloomed... That's another thing bombs do wrong in this game. Right? It's a great game, but when you're defusing a bomb, if the bomb goes off, the person defusing it needs to die. Mm, yeah. Counter-Strike did that. That, that, that was brilliant. You wait there till the bombs. end. You know when you're... You know, right. you've sealed your fate. You know, there's, there's no going back now. I'm here to the end of this. This one bomb. just goes... <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, what? 
<laughs> That's not a bomb at all. Carasite does. Uh, sorry, Coolest Duty does a good. Uh, you defuse the bomb and you didn't get it in time, and so you I died. I love that. Your little bars going. Well. De -de 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 Boom. And you're like, oh, dong. Oh shit. Horsey nice. dong. Yeah. But yeah. If you want a better team-based, large-scale open war action game, this you aren't going to find one. Like, this is it. Right? <laughs> this isn't top dog. Forget for that. Mag. Forget something should be like Mag. This is it. Mag's got move support though, Martin. Whatever, right? Mag, <laughs> Mag was support. a nice concept, but large scale warfare is this, right? Small scale warfare, black ops, yeah. spacey, or bleep, Halo. Bleep, 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 Halo. That's my three. I call them the which Trinity your, of Delight. Which is your favourite, Tom? Out of Halo. Out of those, uh, the three big ones, Halo. in our opinion. Halo. Halo. Mm. Yeah. My Trinity of Delight. I've got all three of them. You know, you can show something spectacular. Person well, I did this off. really cool move where I got a quad bike and I jumped it over this amazing. So are you going to show that to us? No, because <laughs> I what I did is jumped it and I knew where their sniper was. I was going to go in and knife him, but the lag got me. So this is our unceremonious exit. So oh, this no. is the, this is how I die. So yeah, this is a story of Pearson's life. <laughs> number nine in our game of the year. Bad, Bad company, company two. two.